But both teams decided to add one here after the tumultuous weekend weather-wise. First pitch out of the zone for Ellie Dubois. And this one is a strikeout. An off-speed pitch. Dubois working that breaking pitch very, very nicely Came on the road. 2-2. Mudge holds off. There's a grounder over to short, but it is muffed, unfortunately, by Amaya, Amaya Gaynor. Pitch outside, Mudge takes off and gets into second base easily. 3-2. This one's sent deep to deep left field. Is that off the wall? It is almost got out of the yard, but Mac Leonard will take an RBI double easily as Mudge crosses the plate. Seminoles break out here first in the bottom of the first with a 1-0 lead. And like you said, true utility. She probably can play anywhere on the field, if I had to guess. She does a little catching. Yeah. Edenfield sends this one sky high and deep. If it's fair, it's out of here. And it is gone. A three-run bomb. Area 51 is alive and well. And just like that, it's 4-0 Seminoles. Kind of flies, you know. It, it just seems like it was yesterday when this was going on. This one lying just over the third baseman's head and outreach of the glove, and that falls in down the line. And so Florida State continues to swing hot bats. In that circle, sometimes as a pitcher, and so just if her teammates can just walk up to her, hey, we got your back. Hey, give us something to work with. There, how the inning is going for the Rattlers? She's still composed. Double play ball here, and that one just gets through as that was a low strike at second base by Cuevas. Off the ground because she literally <laughs> jumps off the ground in some place. Pokes this one right over to Beasley and Beasley able to get Muffley at first. Quick inning. You want to try to make Du Bois work? <laughs> but boy, they did not take your advice, <laughs> did they? <laughs> and so Beasley, three pitches, three pitches, three grounders and three outs weekend weather-wise for both of these teams. Ground ball over Cuevas, unable to move and snag that ball to her left, and Mudge once again reaches on a not so so defensive or clean defensive play. Off goes Mudge, and still unable to throw one out. Makes of Edenfield, the speed with Mudge as we've seen, and the consistent hitting that Kaylee Harding has, although a nice job in center field. Natural grass happening here. They have a little bit of uh, simulated turf. This is a base hit up the middle. And so FAMU has their first base hit of the game. Grounder over to third past Harding. And a nice job of running the 6-4-3 double play. Started off by Josie Muffley. Leadership, that could really play a factor. As boy though, wins that battle against Irvis. Michaela Enfield really wanted that pitch. Well, she'll take first base for her troubles, though. Belvi. And this one drilled into center field. Belvi's waved around. She's going to head for home, play at the plate. And she is out. What a job from center field for Fan Yu. We'll, we'll give the benefit of the doubt to, to the umpires. It's still early for them too, right? Dak <laughs> fires it and swings it right to center field. There's no play at the plate on this one, however. Flaherty with the speed. So despite the throw out from center field the first time, this single is an RBI for Dak and Florida State now up 5-0. She's doing what she's supposed to do as an outfielder. And she's using that glove as, she, as we speak as Dak will get into second base. This one sky to deep right center field, and that is going to hit the track and go off the wall. One run will score. Muffley's going to dig for third, for third, and she gets there standing up. Opposite field hit. A triple for Muffley, and it's 6 nothing Florida State. 11 innings. This one lined over the head. That shortstop of Gaynor. A mudge. With a heavy turn, but we'll stay close for a double. Ross floats this one shallow, just getting into the outfield. However, Gaynor is underneath it to retire the side. 
Here's a base hit right through the middle. And so Davis has been showcasing her defensive prowess with a Ravis oppo, but not through the infield. Line drive shot that'll fall right down in front of the left fielder and Helvi with the heads up and FAMU not able to get that ball into the infield in time and she's in at second base. 2-2 Flaherty, nice little stop at third base for FAMU and Belvi. Good fielding and was able to get the out. Here's Dak once again. Lady Dak still coming up strong. Opposite field single and another run driven in by the Seminoles, eight nothing. Fitting right in. Culture fits for the her. culture. <laughs> yeah, fits like a glove for sure. It's on top of this one. Watson over there to her left. Excellent execution over to first to retire Florida State around these parts. This one swung to center field and Elvi there deep. And so final score actually between Florida State and FAMU, that eight run rule comes into effect. But Florida State victorious here in the first game of this doubleheader with the Rattlers. Off against Mudge, the righty. Davis showing bunt, but does not buy one pitch from Leonard. This one swung, and this is right over to left field, however. Not bad contact, but Katie Dak in perfect position to retire Florida AM. and One, two, three for Leonard. Do it. And a liner over there to left field. An excellent catch, an adjustment by Blazingame. Here in a start for FAMU, much to their liking. This one jammed on Harding and lined over to second base. 100%, yeah. Edenfield. Oh, an excellent catch once again in left. And this time she gets Hill to swing and miss for the strikeout. One and two, swing and a miss. More strikeouts than innings pitched. There's a grounder over to Flaherty. Easy toss to first, and it's another one, two, three inning for Seminoles pitching. But I think she should be happy with that, right? Not anymore, though. Ray Kaser, a sharp. Sharp hit into right center field, and it's a stand-up double for the outfielder. Player. And she draws the walk. So runners on the corners with one down here in the bottom of the third. They trying to take the double play ball out of play. Mudge slaps it down. Grounder unable to make the tag. There's Morgan at home plate, and Mudge will go to second base on top of that. So Waycaser gets home in time to beat the tag, and it's 1-0 Florida State. Under coach Alameda, rounder right over, and now caught in a rundown is Ross. Back and forth, but a little bit of a mishandle at third, and Ross will scoot home for the second run of the game. One and two here to Harding. Driven hard, high and deep at the wall, but off the glove and right. One run will score. Here comes Leonard in to score. Two runs cross the plate. Harding ends up at third. And a couple of miscues by FAMU has allowed Florida State to get out to a four zip lead. Christiana Beasley yard in the first inning of game one and four pitches and Michaela Edenfield says, thank you very much. I'm just gonna have a stroll over here to first base. Scratch another couple of runs. Flaherty grounds it over to second, trying to get the double play ball into effect. Will not be able to get it done. So a little bit of a chopper allows Flaherty to get to first base and another run crosses the plate for the Seminoles. So it's now five to nothing. You could walk, honestly. I mean, you really could walk. You don't even need to get buses. Everybody can just show up like they used to. Belvi takes off running, pinch running for Dak, but Waycaser will ground over to second base and is retired. He did while she was an eagle. She brought that right over to the Rattlers. Swing and a miss, high in the zone. And then also kind of learn behind some of the bits. Four Ks dialing it up for exactly how they look at it. Absolutely, and I mean, and that's exactly what Coach Alameda does, you know, and challenge her team. And Blazing Game doing what she does out there in left field. Grounder just scoots past third base as Weisbrook couldn't get a hold of it, and so Cuevas gets her fourth hit of the season in as many games as well. Cuevas is making a plea for that. Yeah. The way she's played. So there's quality level players as you see another strikeout for Royalty. 
2012 through 2014. And another strikeout here in double headers here in softball. Fox, though, hits this one into the gap, and that's going to find the back of the wall. Almost got out of the park. And this one escapes into the infield. Cravis is going to get to home plate. And FAMU has their first run of this doubleheader. And the FAMU faithful letting Joanne Graffield know about it. The outfit is there at Florida State. This one slapped over to first base, but Mac Leonard is right there to put things away. Long line of history, um, and I'm sure it could keep going back and back. Unbelievable how the schedule kind of worked out for Florida State, as you see Hartley draw, to, draw a walk here. Not new. Belvi tries to lift this one, and she does over the head of left field. One run scores, and fields in, as is Hartley. So in left field, too shallow was FAMU. Blazing game, way too shallow. There's no love loss between, you know, bitter opponents, but, you know, kind of put that away maybe to the test. I don't know. Put it to the test tonight. Perfect situation for a freshman. This one scoots. Muffley, excellent dive, but beating it out is Watson at first base. Muffley showing off that Sports Center top 10 athleticism. This one down in the dirt, Watson caught, and this one out of the hand of Edenfield escapes her, heads up to the netting all around. Yeah, absolutely. Swing and a miss though, and Bolt gets a strikeout here. Three and one, and she will take the walk. Obviously, if they can get a come from behind win for sure, Muffley able to get, and here comes Davis again with that gun in center field, but it escapes, gets through past Gaynor, and so Muffley's still not shy of taking a couple back. Avery Weisbrook, and she hits a nice opposite field out of the reach, and another run will score. Hot shot at Watson's glove, unable to corral it. I mean, hey, if you're good, you're good. Mudge, speaking of good, about as good of a leadoff hitter as there is in the country. Situation here for the Rattlers, as Leonard drives this one deep to right center, Almost caught, oh my goodness, by Davis, but a collision. And Weisbrook will cross home plate. And that will be a nine run, nine one uh, contest here as it looks like Leonard's caught in the rundown. But that run crossing the plate means the eight run rule has come into play and that will automatically end the ball game here in the bottom of the sixth. So Florida State sweeps this double header nine to one.